Well, hello there, everyone. It's Wednesday, December 22nd, the year 2021. What does that mean? If I say this right, I'm not looking at it, but it's a panatome. I might have said that wrong, but panatome, I think that was it. What's that mean? It is the month 12, December 1 2, date 22, and the year 21. So you go 1 2 2 2 2 1. So it goes in order from the front to the back. You read either way and it reads the same thing. That's what that word is. It might, might not be panatone, but something close to that. So the next panatone, we'll call it, because I'm probably saying it wrong, is in approximately 1,000 years. So you are experiencing something today that you probably won't experience again unless you live for 1,000 years. So enjoy today. And remember, look at the today's date, 12, 22, 21. Read it from left to right or right to left, and it's the same date. <laughs> all right. All right. Hopefully, you're all doing well. It's been a somewhat busy day for us. My youngest son got in at midnight Monday night. I think by the time we got home, it was 1 o'clock. And we picked my oldest son up yesterday lunchtime-ish. And so both boys are here. They still haven't gotten up there on West Coast time, so they'll probably get up pretty soon. Um, I've been down to my neighbor's house, um, taking care of their, they got three geckos, they're traveling. So I turned the heat lamp on in the morning. I just put some on a daytime cycle. They get the, their version of the sun, a heat lamp over their aquarium. And then I'll go back in the evening, I'll feed them live crickets and mealyworms. So they'll get fed that. So that's, did that. I put an offer in on a house last night. It was 10.30, 11 p.m when my realtor sent the offer in, so I haven't heard back yet of what'll happen, but that offer was for $60,000 to get a house that's listed at $77,000. The house house is on the MLS. The house does need work. Um, there's three conditions in the offer. One is I want a home inspection, because I've been told it needs roughly $20,000 worth of work by a trusted source that told me that. So, but I did put in there, I want a home inspection just to make sure there's nothing hidden that he didn't see. Also, it's continued on the tenants being out of the house before I close on it. And the third one was continued on me, continued on me obtaining financing. I think that was the three things. So we'll see what happens on that. And that one, if it's successful, if I successfully can buy it and it's successful with my loan for it, it's going to be... Oh, they call it like a bridge loan. It's kind of like a fix and flip, but I'm not going to flip it. I'm going to hold it. But they will loan me the money to buy it, $60,000. Um, I put 10% down. So I put um, $6,000 down. And then once we close on it, I start doing the rehab. And they'll set up, I think, three draws. I spend X number of dollars. I show them what I did. They send me the money. I spend X number of dollars. I show them what I did. They send me the money. When I'm all said and done, they send an inspector out to look through the property, I guess. And then if it looks good to them, then they can do a refinance. If I want a cashback refinance, I gotta wait maybe six months. And if I just wanna do a refinance and get a mortgage, it'll be, I can do it that day. No, there's if I do the rehab in two months, I can do a refinance in two months. If I want cash back, then I gotta wait. I think he said six months. I got it on my notes written down. So anyway. Well, I'll keep you posted on that because I want to interview one of the lenders there. It's a non-QM lender, so I want to interview one of them on my channel. I have some other interviews I'm lining up that will be coming, so you won't have to just look at me all the time. All right, well, here's one question for you. If you are progressing on your way to wealth, you're progressing on your way to wealth, and let's say you have a net worth of $400-ish thousand dollars. So you say, eh, we're getting there. But remember, I'm going to remind you of something. You can't eat net worth. Okay, do you understand what I'm saying? You could have something, you could have a piece of land worth $400,000, but unless you have cash flow, you can't live off of it. Okay, you may have a net worth of $400,000, but you've invested in something that's given you a huge return, and maybe you're getting $50,000 cash on cash back each year, so you can live on that. So when you have a net worth, you look at what your cash flow is. What can you access from it? Like if you get rental property, you got monthly cash flow, but you got expenses you got to account for. So, um, but anyway, the question is, say if you're in that situation, 
and you're still youngish, let's say you're in your late 20s, early 30s, is it okay, and we're all different, but can you justify to yourself to buy a, in quotes, a luxury car, a luxury vehicle? Maybe it's like a, a Tesla Model S. Maybe it's a Porsche. Maybe it's someone else. Maybe a vehicle, let's say, in six figures. Say it's a vehicle that's $75,000. Should a person progressing towards wealth, if they want to be financially independent, should they buy that luxury vehicle? My mind says no. Don't derail your path. If you're progressing towards wealth, don't derail it because a vehicle is a depreciating asset. Okay. Um, and if you, any vehicle is, if you buy a Honda Civic for $22,000, it's still going to depreciate, but $22,000 is smaller than say a six figure one. Okay. But we're all different. we all have different thoughts. So let me know what you think in your personal journey. If you're progressing along the way, maybe you're one of my mastermind group and you got eight rentals or 13 rentals or 14 rentals or five rentals or four rentals, whatever you got. In your mind, can you justify buying a nicer vehicle? Not a nicer house, a nicer vehicle. Could be a Tesla Model 3 that costs $40,000 if that's, that'd be nice to me. I drive a 2009 Toyota Camry. It's worth, even with inflated prices, it's worth like $8,000. My mind says it's worth $3,000, but it's 116 or 117,000 miles on it. So that's what I drive. Remember, I'm a millionaire. <laughs> so uh, how do I get this way? I've, I've never derailed myself. That's me. But we're all, like I said, we're all different. And if someone is younger in their late 20s, early 30s, and they got a net worth $400,000, they're well ahead of where I was at that age. But what do you think? All right, if you made a video response for me, Millennial Mike or Helicopter Pilot Caleb, what do you guys think? If you're G Waters or you're Lola or you're Manny or you're somebody, Will, watching my channel, what do you think? All right, feel free to comment. All right, oh, one last thing, and I'm going to wrap this up. There's a CNC, CNBC article that came out yesterday, I think it is, that says uh, some survey said that 26% of Americans are worried about their finances in 2022. It's a combination of inflation. Inflation is getting high across the board. Food prices in the grocery store are getting high. Restaurant prices are going up. Products we buy whatever, cars, trucks, computers, stuff that have chips in them, everything across the board, lumber, commodities, prices are going up. So, and paychecks aren't going up as much as inflation has gone up. If you get a pay raise of 3% and inflation goes up 6%, you're losing money, <laughs> all right? So it's something to think about. So anyway, I'm gonna keep this one shorter. So I got some stuff I gotta, be, I gotta get done here. I may be doing an interview possibly later today or tomorrow or the next day for my first one. But there'll be, once the boys are gone, there'll be more interviews coming with um, some others. So stay tuned. All right, y'all stay safe. Enjoy your week if you're at work. Hopefully it's a short work week for you. All right, Maskey is signing out.